What's happening, good people? Welcome back to Searching for Tone. My name is Brian, for all you first time viewers out there. If you are popping in for the first time, that's pretty awesome. If you want, go down below, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content coming out on the regular, so you don't wanna miss a beat. Today, we got a little budget boutique action for you. Courtesy of Stretch. Now, full transparency, Stretch had sent me this pedal to do a review but I haven't been paid for it and they didn't tell me that I couldn't say anything and all opinions still are my own. If you haven't seen our looper video, you should check that out. But that was kind of the beginning of this whole boutique type budget style pedals. These could be found on Amazon for really cheap prices. They have these really cool boxes that kind of look like almost like an MXR type of thing. It has little magnets on the side and it just really has like a nice little finishing touch gives it a little bit more oomph to the, the budget pedal. Give your little salt packets in there. Make sure your dogs and your kids don't get them. Unless you want them to. And then an instruction manual, but who needs to read instructions? It's a nice little styrofoam to keep the pedal in place. The pedal itself, and the one thing that's kind of cool with Stretch is that they give you a little piece of Velcro that if you want to put this on a pedal board, they give it to you instead of having to buy the stuff. So today we're looking at the Octopus. And it has three knobs, uh, Octave 1, Octave 2, a dry mix, and then a uh, top, bottom, or both switch. That's pretty much it. Nice, easy, sturdy case, nice design. Takes up a small little footprint, nothing, nothing major has an in and out and a nine volt DC. The switch ain't bad. It's not like too rough, not too clicky. I know sometimes some people think in a quiet gigging setting, settings that they're not gonna want something that clicks too loud. Some of these things latch really, really hard and it's, it, it's not actually all that bad. You know, just plug this in, run through a couple of tones and that's about it. All right, so now we have all the knobs at noon and it's at the uh, bottom position for the toggle switch. I'll give you some clean for reference. Now I just put the toggle switch up to both. Pretty interesting sound to get out of this thing. Sounds very like 80s Castlevania type action going on for all you uh, Nintendo players out there. We'll throw it up to the top. So we're just gonna crank everything, octave one, octave two, all the way up, dry all the way up, and we're starting off with the toggle in an up position.
No, both. And then the bottom. Okay, so now we have octave one, octave two cranked all the way, and we back the dry down into the, the middle. So it should be a mix, and the toggle is in the bottom position. Now we'll just throw it in the middle position, so it's both. Pretty interesting it gives you that kind of like organy type sound to it let's um i think they're pretty well known for like having dirt in front of it so let me grab a uh, dirt pedal real quick and we'll just see how that sounds all right we're back we've got the uh, big muff pie on the floor from electro harmonics we'll give you a little sound sample of that first without the uh, uh, octopus in there and then we'll kick that in That's the bottom, we'll do the both now. Go to the top. Well, I think it's definitely sort of creative pedal. Even for me, having not really used octave pedals before, I found myself like finding it pretty cool. Like you could do some really cool organ-y type stuff and it gets you like creating in a different type of, type of way. The uh, dirt in front of it sounded pretty cool too. Let me know what you thought about this pedal. Leave a comment down below. Definitely keep these things on your radar. They're about $40, $45 depending on you know, sales on Amazon, coupon codes, things like that. So check them out. You've all been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.